Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I am teaching you how to sketch in perspective with the iPhone 11 Pro camera. First of all, you might be asking, Sam, did you really buy the iPhone 11 Pro just to show us how to sketch in perspective? And the answer is no, because actually I bought the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but at the final second, I decided to change it for the iPhone 11 Pro just because I preferred the size of the phone. So I had to actually buy both phones because I couldn't uh, change my order. Apple told me I couldn't change my order, so I had to order both and then return the Pro Max as soon as I got it delivered. So um, everyone was messaging me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go and check out what I'm up to over there. They were messaging me saying, this sounds like a giveaway for sure you have a spare phone so let's do a giveaway um, I'm not quite at that stage yet I think that's gonna come when I hit hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube so don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe and hit the bell button as well and when I get to hundred thousand subscribers I will do whatever the latest iPhone is I'll do a giveaway as soon as I reach that landmark anyway the point of this video is to show you that not all perspective is the same The iPhone 11 Pro camera has three different elements, a wide angle 13 mm lens, a standard 26 mm lens, and a telephoto 52 mm lens. And it's these three elements that we're going to focus on today. So I'm gonna show you the difference between the three different focal lengths of the cameras. And I'm gonna show you that on this box, the iPhone 11 Pro box here, and you can see that we're actually really zoomed out at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is, let's say I wanna sketch this box, and I wanna sketch it in the middle of the page. And when I zoom in like this to fill the page, you can see that the perspective is absolutely crazy. And that's because of the wide angle lens. If I switch over to the normal camera, you can see here that to fill the exact same amount of the page, I have to move the camera back a little bit. And the perspective becomes a little bit more uh, natural to what we might see in the real world. Now the camera that most represents what we see in the real world is actually the two time zoom. And that is why I went for the 11 Pro instead of the 11, because as a designer, I love having that two time zoom because this is most similar to a 50 millimeter lens. So you can see now that the perspective is the most natural way that we can possibly see it. And if I swap back to the half zoom and I have to fill the same page, then you can start to see the crazy perspective going on again. This is the number one issue that I see with new designers and new sketchers on Instagram that they try and make their designs look more dynamic by putting them in this type of perspective. But as you can see, it's really not realistic. And you start to get crazy effects like uh, fish eye lens and you move around and you can't really get a sense of the shape of the object, which is exactly the point that you're trying to do when you're sketching things as well. It's really important to make the person looking at your sketch understand the form and what you're trying to communicate. And to do that, the best perspective to sketch in is something more like this where it's not isometric, so there still is some perspective, but it's more realistic to what we will see in the real world. So I hope that video was useful to tell you the differences in perspectives based on what camera angle you are using. Don't forget to try and sketch in more of a realistic angle, and that's more like a 50 millimeter to an 80 millimeter. That's what people like to use for portraits. And yes, this was honestly just an excuse for me to test out the new cameras. Uh, if you learned anything in this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.